Cosbet is a Chinese brand that specializes in rugged smartwatches at affordable prices. The Tag S1 is their latest model and it packs a lot of useful features into a durable package. In this video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the Cospet Tank S1, a rugged smartwatch with unique blend of style and durability. It's packed with useful features and I'll be testing them all out. I also show you how to quickly set it up and have my wife test its measurements accuracy. And of course I'll answer the question is it worth the price? So let's get started. But before we dive in let's take a look what's in the box. The box contains a warranty card, instruction manuals, a magnetic charging cable, a set of soft silicone straps and the watch itself. Since the watch comes with the straps unattached, so the first thing we need to do is to attach them. This is really easy, even if you're a bit clumsy like me. Just position the strap between the logs of the watch with the shortest strap on the top. Then pull the pin, insert the other side of the strap and it'll click into place. Do the same thing on the other side and you're good to go. The watch has a durable body made of metal and plastic with an aluminium bezel and gorilla glass cover. It's also 5ATM, IP69K and military standard 810H certified which means it's shock and drop resistant and can withstand even the harshest environments. On the back of the watch we've got a PPG sensor, a microphone, a speaker and two pins for magnetic charging. On the right side there are two function buttons, the top one is the power button and the bottom one is the back button. The sport key on the left side takes you to the sports mode. The functions of each button are engraved on the bezel. The S1 is also very comfortable to wear, it's not bulky or heavy so you can wear it all day long without any discomfort. It has 45mm case and weighs only 48 grams. The silicone strap is soft and adjustable and if you're not a fan of silicone you can swap it for any 20mm wide strap. The outer design of the S1 is sporty and it's built to last, it's stylish and it's comfortable to wear. It's definitely one of the best elegant rugged style watches I've ever seen. The 1.3 inch AMOLED display is a nice surprise and it's protected by Gorilla Glass 3. It's got deep blacks and vibrant colors which is much better than the standard IPS or LCD display. It's also got a resolution of 360 by 360 pixels which is plenty for a smartwatch. The always on display is a nice perk, but it doesn't automatically adjust to ambient light. This can be a bit annoying in dark areas or when you're trying to sleep and your watch suddenly lights up like a Christmas tree. The S1 operates like most smartwatches, swipe down for the control center, up for notifications, left for monitoring and right for the main menu. That's where you find all the features and widgets. To pair the S1 with your phone, turn on the Bluetooth on the phone and download the Cospet Fit app which is free and available for both iOS and Android phones. On iPhone it's easy, just scan the QR code on the watch screen or from the manual, then make sure Bluetooth is turned on and open the app. Create an account if you don't have one and then find your S1 in the device list and pair it. That's it. On Android it's a bit more complicated, when pairing the S1 with the Android phone you'll need to grant the Cospet app permissions in order to access certain features. This might seem like a lot but it's necessary to get the most out of your watch. The S1 is pretty customizable, you can change the watch face to anything you like and there are around 70 to choose from in the app. To change the watch face just tap on your favorite one and it will sync to the watch. You can also change the watch face from the watch itself by pressing and holding the screen and flipping through the dials. The watch proprietary system is also really simple, you don't need manual, you can figure out all the functions on your own. It doesn't have an app store since it's not a Wear OS watch, but it has a ton of useful health and fitness tracking features. Let's check those now. The button below the screen is for sports, press it to choose from 70 different sports modes. The S1 covers most indoor and outdoor sports and it can even automatically recognize and remind you of 5 sports, walking, running, cycling, elliptical and rowing. Let's take a closer look at how accurate the S1 step counting is. And before we carry on make sure you're subscribed. For this experiment my wife will use a manual tally counter as usual. She will do exactly 1000 steps, each step equals one manual click at the tally counter. 
On the first try, the S1 counted 950 steps, which is a bit off, but it turns out my wife rounded her height in the companion app, so we repeated the test with her correct height. If your watch is miscounting steps, here's a tip. If it's undercounting, remove 1 to 2 centimeters from your height in the companion app. If it's overcounting, at 1 or 2 centimeters. This should adjust your stride length estimation and improve the accuracy of the step count. Unfortunately, the S1 doesn't have a built-in GPS, so it can't track your route unless you start a walking or running exercise from the app. Not ideal, but it works. This time, the S1 counted 1002 steps, which is actually pretty good. One neat feature of the watch is that it continuously records your heart rate while you wear it. So let's check the accuracy of the heart rate measurements against a medical grade pulse oximeter. First, let's check the resting heart rate. My wife will put on the watch and the oximeter and we'll see how close the readings are. The watch measured 74 beats per minute, exactly as the oximeter. That's great, but it's too easy. So let's see how the watch does during exercise. She'll have a quick spin on the stationary bike and we'll check the heart rate measurements again afterwards. The watch stopped at 112 beats per minute after the exercise and the oximeter measured almost the same 113 beats per minute. Like most recent watches, the S1 also measures your blood oxygen saturation level, also known as SpO2. We got the measurements and it's 99% at both devices. That's good enough for me. The S1 also uses its PPG sensors for blood pressure monitoring, but I'm a bit skeptical of this feature as optical sensors will never be as accurate as medical grade curved blood pressure monitors no matter the brand. They will only give you a rough estimation, not the real results, but let's check it out anyway. Alright, so we checked the watch's blood pressure monitoring, and let's just say it's not the most accurate thing in the world. My wife's watch was off by almost 20 points compared to the medical grade device. So if you're looking for a reliable way to track your blood pressure, don't rely on a smartwatch. But hey, there's one smartwatch that claims to be different. It's called BP Doctor Med, and I'll be reviewing it in one of our next videos, so stay tuned for that. The S1 has a speaker and a microphone, so you can make and receive calls with it. The audio quality is good, both for you and the person you're talking to. You can add your favorite contacts to the watch for quick calling. It's easy to do in the app. The watch also displays all incoming notifications from your phone. You can choose which notifications you want to receive in the companion app, and you should be able to receive and read messages, but you can't reply to them. The S1 has a 300 mAh battery that takes about 2 hours to charge. The manufacturer claims that the battery can last up to 15 days on normal use and 50 days on a standby. In real life, the S1's battery life lives up to the claims. My wife was able to get about 2 weeks of use out of the watch with always on display enabled, and Bluetooth always connected and the brightness set to low and medium. The AMOLED display definitely helps the long battery life since it uses less power than the traditional LCD screens. So the S1 is a pretty good smartwatch for the price. It has a long-lasting battery, a durable build and a big beautiful AMOLED display. It can also track all your health and fitness, make and receive calls and support a variety of sports modes. The only downside is that it doesn't have an app store, so you're limited to the apps that come pre-installed. But honestly, for the price, you can't really go wrong with the Tank S1. So overall, it's a great choice for anyone looking for a stylish and functional smartwatch at a budget-friendly price. Price. But if you're looking for a watch with all the bells and whistles, you'll need to spend more money. You can pick up the Tank S1 on Amazon for around $99 US, but keep an eye out for occasional coupons and discounts so you can snag a bargain. Check out the links in the video description or scan the QR code that's popping up on the screen right now to go straight to the Amazon store. Or if you're feeling adventurous, you can order it from AliExpress. Just be aware that it might take a few weeks to arrive from China. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.